So for our topic, we decided to um, to study high school athletes and um, their intention to report concussions. So Haley and I are both athletic training students, so we have a lot of a lot of time we spend with high school athletes and trying to help them through concussions, trying to help identify concussions. So what we wanted to do was really understand the different factors that went into them telling us if they thought they had a concussion. We did two surveys. One was more of a concussion knowledge, one that we split up between signs and symptoms, could they recognize those, and then the long-term effects. So both the high school students and their parents took that one, and then the students took an intention to report survey. So would they intend would they intend to report a concussion if they had one? And those were all more like scenario-based questions. We were expecting to find a lot more having to do with intention to report, telling us, you know, time of season, say if it was a pre-season practice as opposed to a playoff game, would they be more likely to report a concussion in that practice and not tell us anything in that game? We found no significance whatsoever with intention to report. It doesn't seem to be, there doesn't seem to be anything we do that will get them to tell us if they have a concussion. When we went to the schools to like kind of explain what we were doing, why it was important to get, you know, the high school parents and the students, because they're there to learn about like the next season and those rules and stuff, but get them to understand why this is important, you know, to do for just themselves to know this, these things. So kind of just explain that to them to get them to be a part of our study. Well, we would hope that this could uh, aid future researchers understanding what we can do different to get athletes to tell us when they have concussions. It's currently we have a lot more athletes, or at least in our experience, we have a lot more athletes who tell us if their friends are concussed, but they won't tell us the thing if they are. And we'd like to change that. We have, um, I guess, not just that, but also getting them to understand more. We have. There are so many things that can go along with being concussed, and having the athletes really understand the decision they're making is such a vital aspect of not only their treatment, but also their possible recovery. So if we could get them to understand them a little more, that'd be very beneficial. We're both going to graduate school after, so it's definitely a great opportunity for us to like learn the basis of research and how to do that ourselves and, you know, be questionative, you know, be able to be like, this is what I want to know and how to go about like learning more about that. I just accepted the position at Augusta University down in Georgia for, uh, thank you, um, for their doctoral program in neuroscience. So this really is just right up my alley. I'd like to study traumatic brain injury and I'd like to study concussion. And this gives me a really good basis of going, this is what I'm interested in with this topic and this is how I want to go about learning about it. There's a lot of things that legislation, legislators need to understand with concussions and just how important education and treatment is.